What is up guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna be working on the STI. What I basically wanna do today is that I wanna remove the turbo. If you guys have saw the video, the car smokes crazy. There's a huge exhaust leak. It sounds like it's coming from the up pipe. I really wanna take out the turbo, see how bad it is. Cause it smokes a lot. So yesterday when I went to pull the STI, I wanna check on the oil level. And when I pulled the dipstick, there was like no oil. So I top off like about a quart and a half and check the dipstick again and it wasn't showing but mind you that I did have the car up in the hill so I parked it on the bottom um, of my driveway and I put the dipstick this morning and it has oil so we're good to go from there we know for a fact that we're losing a lot of oil because we guarantee you that turbo seals is leaking pretty bad which caused a lot of smoke out of the exhaust and where the exhaust is coming from possibly from the up pipe is smoking it from there too so it's just some, it just looks like the car is just it's like a blown head gasket like smokes is crazy like it's everywhere i already sprayed penetrated oil on the rusted bolts and nuts um, i'm gonna head down pick up some couple stuff at the shop basically gonna be working on the sti at home because i don't want to be driving the car like that when i left the shop from the previous visit and i'm driving home it just created so many smoke it traveled pretty bad and I just felt super bad for the people that was behind me because obviously they're following me with smoke so I don't really want to do that we're gonna head to the shop we're gonna grab some couple things come back home by the time we get back home we should be able to pull the turbo out easily with no problem it looks so good Damn. Back at the house guys, it's super super windy so hopefully you guys can hear me. It's probably about a few hours since I sprayed penetrating oil on the bolts and nuts on the down pipe and the up pipe. So it should be easy to come right off. The only problem is that we don't have a stand for the hood so I might end up taking the hood off. That way this thing doesn't slam my head. So per the tracking, so I did order a new OEM replacement turbo. That should be maybe coming in by later on today or maybe tomorrow. If it doesn't come in today, then oh well, we can always wait till tomorrow. I'm still waiting on other gaskets, but that hasn't even been showing up somewhere in around Honolulu. So I'm kind of a little bit worried, but I only have a little bit of time until I can try to get this car going. But we're just basically gonna just uh, just do whatever we can. As right now, we're gonna have to remove the intercooler. I did find that one of the bolts in the back right here or on the bottom is missing. So that might be the leak, but we don't know yet until we get new gaskets and new hardwares. And yeah, so let's go ahead and just take this apart and then go from there.
so we got the turbo out I think now I realized why it was leaking from the upper it's not what's only because of the gasket but I think I remember one of the bolt it was like a 10 millimeter not very secured you can see how it's kind of worn down there so we got to figure out how we're gonna fix that problem it's either we might have to maybe drill a hole a little bit bigger and put a new bolt and nut in it because it, I think it looks like if I were to take out this gasket it, it looks like maybe they had it cocked and they just shoved it all the way in but maybe I should have considered getting a new up pipe maybe a stock one maybe a replacement not too sure yet though but eventually this is gonna fix our exhaust leak because of this distant but I think we can really do so here's the turbo put it out and what do you know Tur turbo seal was leaking that's where all the leaks was coming from it's sort of burning all the oil out to the exhaust see how wet that is right there so I knew for a fact this turbo was no good I mean it still pulls no play on the shaft so I guess what we can probably do is that we probably can keep this turbo and in the future maybe if I want to throw this back on or maybe sell it then we probably can do that I wouldn't mind keeping it and then do a full rebuild on this I think it would be pretty good experience and learning process of how to kind of rebuild a turbo I never done one in my life so maybe I'll keep this for sure so I checked the tracking on the new OE replacement turbo and it may not show up maybe till tomorrow. It says it will show up on Monday, which is kind of pretty sucks. And now we're going to have to wait until the new turbo comes in, which will probably be like a couple days. Other than that, we can't really do much. What we can do is that we can probably, we can flush it into cooler with gasoline, wash out whatever oil that is inside. Maybe freshen up some things now that we have some open space. Maybe we're thinking about taking this pipe out and we clean that because there's any oil. It would be really, really nice if I could actually bring a pressure washer and clean all that oil and whatever sitting on top of the engine. And unfortunately, that the car is on the bottom. We'd have to bring it up there, connect the pressure washer, and then hose everything down here. But sadly, can't. So, the only thing we can do, we can go ahead and pour some gasoline inside in the intercooler. Wash whatever oil is in there. And I think that's pretty much about it. That's all we can do, honestly. I'll go ahead and just take this boot because I know there's oil right there. And maybe just kind of clean up around here, put the hood back in, wait until the new turbo comes in, and then we can slap everything back on with the new gasket. And she'll run, not really 100. I know that the car will still be missing because cylinder four is misfiring, and I know for a fact that the Ringland on these engines, which is super common and also the weakest point of this engine, it's pretty much gone. I just really, really want to get this car at least running to where it's actually maybe drivable, which probably would. I just want to drive this car and just see how everything goes here. Just kind of like go down through the sources. You know, every little thing probably will help down the road and then lead us to, you know, where we need to do the engine. But for sure, I already have one lined up. I just want to take care of the small things first, see how that goes. And then it turns out that we need to change the engine. We will definitely change the engine.
still super super dirty so I'm just gonna leave some gasoline just kind of let it sit so while we're waiting I want to go ahead and just clean everything up since we're gonna have to wait for the parts to come in so yeah let's clean it up put the hood back in the places obviously just gotta wait Alright guys, remember that I said that the turbocharger might be coming in by Monday? It's here! Super excited! So I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Uh, I had a little injury, burned my hand when I touched the hot pot. And now it's just freaking bubbling so I just had to cool down for a while. I'm gonna try my best to kind of open the turbo while I'm holding the camera. So I already ordered gaskets that are separate from the turbo. I did not know that the turbo was gonna come with new gasket and studs. Damn, shucks. I spent a little bit extra money than I thought. As of right now, I wanna put the turbo on. It's just, I can't because my hand is hurting so bad. Just burning right now. So, we'll wait until tomorrow. I'm gonna wrap the video for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Aloha, and I'll see you guys on the next one.